Jackie O. If you are new, welcome. And if you are not new, well, thank you so much for joining us again. This makeup tutorial, even though I don't have any business being anywhere near a club, because at 28, I feel a little too seasoned for them. I'm totally not serious. Theoretically speaking, if I was to go to a club or a bar or just a girl's night out makeup tutorial, it would look something like this. That's exactly what I did a couple days ago when I was in South Carolina and I was doing what the youngins do. And I went out and I did this makeup look. Everybody on Instagram was like, yes, yes, yes. But I'm gonna do even better and I'm also gonna show you how we did the hair for this look. I used the Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette, which is probably one of my favorite palettes that launched this year. And I actually, earlier today, had an interesting idea. What if I did a series of videos until the end of the year where I use products in my tutorials featuring some of like my favorite products from the entire year, kind of like a recap. I was inspired a lot by that girl Shay. She does like a throwback Thursday where she does videos featuring a popular product that no one really talks about, but I thought it would be kind of interesting to do a Jackie Anna favorites for the rest of the year in all of my tutorials. So let me know your thoughts on that. Alrighty, so I'm gonna start by priming my skin. I'm using my Becca Ever Matte Pores Primer because obviously we want our makeup to last a long time and that primer does just that for me. And then I went in with my Charlotte Tilbury Mini Miracle Eye Wand. It has an eye cream and then a corrector on the other side, which I do also use around the mouth, even though it does burn, but I just kind of like to fight the burn anyway. And this is just gonna basically cancel out any like um, darkness or like dullness in the skin. So if you have like that darkness around your mouth, I was gonna use like a peach corrector, so that's what I'm doing. And then I'm patting in with under eye because that will help brighten the under eye so you don't have to use as much concealer. That's a little trick. I'm gonna be using the Lancome Miracle Cushion Foundation. This is actually my first time using it with a brush and I really like the way that it turned out. Right now my skin is a little bit, actually a lot more drier than it normally is. I normally wouldn't use a foundation like this going to the club, but because my skin's dry, I went for it anyway. And then I blot out the excess with a paper towel. Then I used my retoucher stick, also from Charlotte Tilbury, and I'm gonna be using this as a concealer today. The shade that I used is number nine. This worked really, really beautifully with the Lancome Miracle Cushion. Just FYI, if my skin does look dry, does look patchy, mostly around the mouth, that's just because of the medication I'm taking. And then I'm gonna be doing some contouring. This is the contour stick from Black Opal. And everything just needs to be blended, girl. Just blend it. All right, concealer into foundation, into contour, into just everything, okay? Everybody just kind of needs to be at the same party today. Like, we don't want the contour to be at the bar, you know, while you're on the dance floor. Like, get it together. All right, so we're using our beauty blender and we're blending that all out. And I'm really liking the way that this finish looks so far. So I don't think I'm gonna set it with powder later, which I ended up not doing but I do need to set the under eye concealer so I'm going to take my Sasha Buttercup this is a beige tone powder as you can see I'm applying quite a bit of it I'm applying a lot more than normal because we're going to be using some pretty dark shadows and we want something that's going to pick up any of that fallout and then I started filling in my brows with the it cosmetics skinny brows I really really like this concoction I'm using right now I go back and forth between dark brown and then auburn brown. No, my hair is not red at all, not even close. I mean, I'm like a warm brunette right now, but this just kind of makes the brows look softer. It kind of breaks up the darkness in that dark brown pencil. And then I set them with a clear brow gel. This one's from Kelly Baker Brows, which I love, by the way. And then moving on to eyes, I'm gonna be using this cream shadow from Jouer in the shade Abstract. It's a beautiful black base. Normally I blend this out with my finger, but I didn't feel like it. I want a little bit more precision, so I used a brush instead. And then um, I'm also applying that along the bottom lash line. This look is very, very, very smoky. So before we get into those dark colors, we have to start with a transition shade. This one from the palette is like perfect for any dark blues, purples. And then we took that dark blue from the palette and applied that on the lid. And already the look in itself, we're not even halfway done, looks amazing. So now I'm going back and forth between these two colors and they're kind of like accent colors. As you can see, this look is fairly simple. I just started with a dark blue base and then pop some silver icy blues in the center to kind of make it pop. And I also applied that dark blue color we used earlier on my bottom lash line. And you guys, like as you see this look coming together, you'll just start to see that it really, really makes my brown eyes pop beautifully. And then I took a little bit of a gold shadow from that palette and applied that in the inner corner. I always have to do that. And then I'm tight lining my eyes, very smoky. Again, we want a 
really, you know, smoky look. So I'm tight lining with the black liner. And you guys know I'm not really a big fan of like harsh edges. I like everything to be smudgy, smoky, grungy. So I'm also gonna take a pencil liner, apply it on my top lash line, and then blend it out with a brush. Whew, I need to catch my breath. Before we do, let's go ahead and get into this mascara. This one is the Benefit They're Real, which is amazing, but I'm not gonna put on too much because I'm acting lashes. These are from Lena Lashes. This is the Coco set, and the pair that I'm wearing is Kindle. And this is my prey, my cry, when I finally found a pair of lashes that don't look foolish on me. And now that we're pretty much done with the eyes, I told you that was simple. We have to wipe off the excess powder, all of it, because that's not staying permanently and then I'm going to now apply bottom lash mascara then I like to set my makeup before moving on to like blush and all that other stuff these two bronzers one is from Sasha one is from Guerlain and I'm going to be bronzing my skin I love this brush from Tarte by the way and they work really really good well together this blush from Black Up is really really beautiful normally I'd go for a pink blush for a look like this but instead I've opted for peach and it worked out and then I'm gonna be highlighting oh my god this Becca freaking highlighter is like my favorite. It looks wet on the skin. And I just think for your clubbing, going out looks, it just looks beautiful. Oh my God, like your skin's dripping. Okay, so for the lips, I went for a like Barbie nude pink. And I'm gonna be heavily lining my lips with a soft brown liner. This one's from LA Girl. By the way, all details are gonna be in the description box. And this lipstick is an old favorite of mine. This one's called Faux by MAC. I love this color. And I decided to add a gloss, why not? Gloss is very like, I don't know, it's very girly and going out. And I, again, just kind of line my lips over it. Now we're done with the makeup, we're gonna move into the hair. I'm gonna pop this wig on. This is my newest unit from RPG Show. I'm gonna have all the details in the description box. What you need to do is completely flat iron your hair like you normally would. I didn't want to show too much of that because it's really unnecessary. And then I'm going to section off the top, like where I would, I'm going to wear a center part. So I'm sectioning that off to the side. And then as you can see, I'm teasing it. I'm back combing it and I'm teasing it. And that is where you are going to get your volume from. Then I'm going to take this Marc Anthony spray, which is amazing by the way. It's not super crisp and like crusty. And I'm going to spray that so it sets and then smooth the hair over it. Look at that. Okay, see that side versus the other side? It looks amazing, right? So now I'll just do it on the other side. And even though it may look like a bit much now, what I notice is when I don't tease the hair, especially because I have a narrow face, like after a few hours it just falls to like limp nothing. So I find that teasing it like this kind of keeps the shape in my hair and doesn't like elongate my face. Then I spray my hand and pat that on top of my head to remove any flyaways. I don't really like spraying directly on top because it just, I don't know, just so it doesn't get too much buildup. And that is pretty much it. All right, guys, that's the end of the look. I hope to see you on my next video. Thank you again for watching, and please subscribe on your way out if you have not already. Bye.